Hi, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Lyman and I'm here today to talk about knee arthritis and how it's managed at the Lyman Knee Clinic. When we use the term knee arthritis, what we're typically referring to is damage to either the articular surface in the joint or the meniscus tissue. The principles for knee arthritis, especially in younger patients, is to exhaust all conservative treatments prior to consideration for surgery. When conservative management fails, knee surgery is a consideration and for many patients this means knee replacement surgery. Traditional techniques have resulted in excellent long-term results from knee replacement surgery. However, in my hands, using new techniques, we believe that we've increased the reproducibility of this procedure dramatically. While I anticipate covering computer navigation in more depth in a future video, I use this particular technology to increase the chances that I'm going to put the implant in exactly the right position in every single knee. At the beginning of the procedure, the surgeon and the assistant assemble the computer navigation equipment on the leg of the patient and data points are gathered by the computer describing where the leg is in space. A very accurate proximal thin cut is made on the tibia, removing the top of the tibia cartilage and a thin layer of bone. The femur is prepared in a similar fashion to the tibia, and then trials are inserted, allowing us to test the kinematics of the joint, making sure that the uh, ligaments are all properly balanced and uh, any deformity in the leg is being completely corrected by the procedure. In the United States, the patella is most often resurfaced with knee replacement surgery. The patient's age can also play a role in whether or not the patella is resurfaced in this operation. A retro patella cut is made removing the cartilage on the back side of the patella and uh, a button is fit to the back of the patella in a similar way to the tibia and femur articulations. Knee replacement surgery actually should be called knee resurfacing surgery. What's really done in a knee replacement is all of the articular surface is removed and replaced by an artificial or synthetic surface which doesn't hurt when you bear weight. The combination of a polyethylene liner and a smooth femoral surface results in minimal wear and long-term high success rates. Once the joint kinematics have been optimized with the trial prosthesis in place, the trial is removed and the knee is prepared for the final prosthesis. This is done with bone cement, the tibial component is cemented, and then the femoral component is cemented. Any excess cement is removed from the joint, and a polyethylene insert is attached to the tibial tray, which ultimately serves as the bearing surface for the joint. Patients often ask me what to expect after knee replacement surgery and how long it'll take to recover. And often the answers to these questions are very dependent on the patient themselves. Overall, most patients feel that they're improved compared to how they were before surgery by two or three weeks after the operation. However, it can take four to six months to fully recover and it's not uncommon to have a sensation of warmth or swelling in the joints with activity. This is Dr. Lyman at the Lyman Knee Clinic. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this talk on knee replacement surgery.